everybody, it's Wendy, and today I have for you eight different styles of lucite flower earrings. Um, so I have stocked my website <laughs> with lots of lucite flowers, um, all different shapes, all different sizes, um, different colors. Some are the hand-painted ones, some are not. Um, I will have more of the hand-painted ones eventually, but... Um, I'm waiting on an order to come in, so um, when I get them, I will paint them, and then they'll be up there. Um, also, I'm going to have a bunch of gemstone pendants up on the site, but right now, I wanted to show you, I've got eight different ways that we can make lucite flower earrings, and I'm just going to show you the variety. These are beautiful, and the variety that can be used to create these earrings, and I've already made one of each one. So we're going to be making eight earrings, but we're just going to be making this the mate to the one that I've already made, so if that makes sense. But most of these products are available on my site. All the Lucite flowers are, um, and some of the bead caps are, but not all the bead caps. Um, but I do have bicones up there. I have fire polish beads up there. I have all kinds of stuff up there on the website. So um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So the first one, let me get this little cup that I can hang this on so you can see. So the first one that we're going to make is this purple one. It's got a little um, swirly that hangs from the bottom. And these are really pretty. I do have these flowers up on the site, all kinds of them, um, different colors. I've got some bicones up on the site. I don't have a lot of these bead caps, but I do have some of the bead caps that I'm going to show you later. So this is the first earring that we're going to make. So let me show you what you're going to need if you want to make this just like I've made it. You're going to need one of these lucite flowers. And I believe the size on this, let me grab it and I will tell you for sure because I don't want to lie. Yeah. Okay, so these are the 14 millimeter lucite flowers. And I've got them in several different colors. Okay, so you're going to need one of those. You're going to need a small pearl. This is a four millimeter. You're going to need another um, just coordinating bead. This is just a fancy like a little um, uh, cone bead or I don't know what you would call that. Barrel bead, <laughs> but it's shiny and purple. And then I have a four millimeter bicone. I have one bead cap, but I should have two. And here I thought I was so organized and had this all together and I'm missing a bead cap. All right, let me find my bead cap. You're gonna need a couple of different sizes of bead caps. I don't even know what bead cap I used on this, on that top one. What did I do with it? Yeah, I thought I was so organized. I had these all laid out in little cups. Um, all right, I'm gonna pause the video and find my bead cap. Be right back. Okay, I'm the most unorganized person ever. Um, I found it, but you'll not, you'll not believe it. I didn't find, I only had two of these bead caps left. So here's one, and I had one more out here somewhere that has now gone AWOL. But in my bead soup container of stuff that I need to either take apart or put away, I had a pair of earrings that I wanted to take apart that had one that matched it. So, oh, we found one. So you're going to need that bead cap and this other bead cap to go on top of it. Actually, it looks like we're going like this. Um, then you're going to need a rhinestone rondelle spacer. You're going to need an ear wire. And you're going to need three long head pins. Actually, I don't know if we need three, but we've got three here. I think you just need two head pins. One thin ball head pin, that's what this is, and one eye pin. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this earring. It is really quick and easy. Um, the first thing you want to do when you do this, because if you look, you've got all these little dangles attached to your eye pin up here in here. And it's really hard to get up in there once you put your earring together. So you want to go ahead and create your dangles first. Okay, so I am just going to, kind of judging by what I've done on this one. I'm going to use the head pin with the bigger head on it for this bead. I'm grab my pliers. So... If I want it to hang about the same, it looks like I'm going to have to make my loop right about, and I really should have measured that ahead of time, but I did not. So we're going to make it right about here. And if I need to cut it off some more, I can. 
but we're going to bend 90 degrees. Take your wire cutters and cut. I'll leave about that much. Um, and then we're going to take our round nose plier and we're just going to roll a loop back. Okay, right like that. And there's your first one. Now we're going to do the pearl on one. And the pearl, if you can tell, is just a tad bit shorter than that one. This pearl's not going to go all the way down to the bottom of that eye pin. So we'll use this thinner one. And it does on that one. So it's just a tad bit shorter than this one. So I'm going to hold these up together. And I'm going to measure my pearl right about here. 90 degrees again. Cut this off and roll the loop back just like this. Okay, and there's our next one. Now this last one, and we didn't need those two. Well, we're gonna need the eye pin, not the head pin though. This last one, we're gonna make a little um, twirly. So what I do to make the twirly is I just take this and I just wrap it around my um, plier here. And these are really um, easy to bend. They're real thin. I'd say they're probably a 26 gauge. Um, and you just wrap it around like this until you get pretty close to the end. You need enough to make your loop, okay? And then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna roll this loop back, just like I was making a regular loop, just like this. And then I'm gonna grab hold and I'm just gonna gently stretch this out, just like this. Whoops. I wanna do it very gently. My other one got a little wonky. I don't like the way he looks and I tried to fix him, but I couldn't get him fixed very good, so I might, um, I might have to take him off and redo him, but you just gently pull this down. Now, I like it to kind of go straight on the bottom and see that's what he didn't do. But here you have it, just like your other pieces and make sure that loop is closed up good. Okay, just like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eye pin, my long eye pin. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and I'm going to put my dangles on. So, it doesn't really matter what order you do them in. You can mirror that earring if you want to. Um, I don't really, on these, I don't really worry too much about that. And I'm going to close this back up. I really need to put my glasses on. I can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go. Let's use the flat, flat nose pliers. Chain nose pliers are a lot better for that. Than... And here's what we've got. Okay. That's pretty close. I'm going to have to take him off and fix him. I don't like the way he turned out. Okay, so then we're going to put our Lucite Flower on, just like this. And then we're going to put this bead cap on. This is kind of a deep um, cone bead cap that goes down over the flower quite a bit. And I'm going to put this one on. And the more you layer these, the more bead caps you layer on, the prettier these turn out. There's the rondelle, and we'll go ahead and put our bicone on, just like this. Okay, and then we're just going to make another loop. Just like this. Uh, cut it off right about here. And roll this back. Now you want this loop to be kind of tight down onto your um, beads. If you have a lot of extra wire, you know, you want to make this kind of a small loop because you don't want it to have a ton of room to move around. Okay, so there's that. And then we're just gonna put our ear wire on. And we've made an adorable pair of Lucite flower earrings and a purple collar. Okay, just like that. There they are, they're adorable. Now these flowers, again, are the 14 millimeter. I've got them in purple. They're in, I believe, pink and yellow. There's a bunch of different colors up on the website. So that is the first set that you can make out of the little Lucite flowers. So I told you these were quick. <laughs> so the next one we're going to do is this yellow pair. 
using the little tulip flowers. And I have tons of colors of the tulips on there as well. So we'll hang him right here. So if you want to make this pair of earrings, you're going to need an eye pin, one head pin, two tulips, two bead caps of your choice. Uh, this is a six millimeter bicone, or maybe it's an eight. It's an eight millimeter bicone. This is a four millimeter bicone. That's an eight. I have a spacer bead and a fish hook ear wire. Okay. So this one's super easy as well. The first thing we're going to do, just like we did last time, is go ahead and make our little bead dangle. So I've got this little bicone bead dangle. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Let me just make sure how long it needs to be. It doesn't need to hang down very low. So I'm just going to do it right above the bicone there. Bend it over. Cut our or our uh, chain, our uh, head pin, and then roll back a loop. Okay, just make sure it's closed up really good. And then we're going to go ahead and put it on our head pin. It just easy, it's easier to do it this way than it is to do it after you've got the flower on there already. Okay, just like that. There it is. And then we're going to take our little, no, I have a spacer in here. Let me, it's at the top. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Take our little tulip and turn them upside down and put them right on there. Then we're going to put a bead cap on the right way like this. Then we're going to put a bead cap on upside down like this. Then the tulip on upside down. Then the little spacer bead, and the reason for the little spacer bead is it causes the bicone to sit up far enough to where it's seen really well. And then we're going to put this bicone in. Okay, now we are going to bend this at a 40 degree angle, or 90 degree angle. Good lord, I can't even think today. I started back to work today and my brain's kind of fried. I hadn't made the Swarovski earrings in so long, and it was like I couldn't remember anything. I have, I'm having to get myself acclimated again, and it was just, oh, it was kind of crazy, but I made it. <laughs> okay, but my brain is kind of fried this evening. <laughs> All right, so then we're going to put our little fish hook on, just like that. And it's a cute little pair. Look at them. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> I love these. <laughs> so again, the tulips are on the website. Lots of different colors of them. So cute. All right, there's that pair. Now the next pair we're going to do, I love these. These are like, I think these are so pretty. So these are made using some of the hand-painted flowers. And this flatter flower and these, I don't have a whole bunch of these up on the site, but I have some more I need to add on. Um, I'm going to try to get all that done this evening, but I don't know if I'll be able to or not, so we'll see. But here they are. So if you want to make this one, you're going to need this flatter, and there's a bunch of these up on the site in different colors. You're going to need the flat flower and the 14 millimeter, and they layer just like that. Then these bead caps are on the website. And then you're going to need another couple of bead caps, just small ones, and two, I believe these are 8 millimeter bicones, an eye pin, and an ear wire. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, again, is make our dangle. And actually, you need another head pin for this. Yeah, a head pin and an eye pin. This must be where my extra head pin came from. All right, so we're going to make a little bead dangle here. Let me see how big that one is. Okay, it's just right above the bicone. Just like this. Let's go ahead and cut our wire. And make a loop. All right. Make sure it's closed up real good. Take your eye pin and open it up. Put your little dangle on and close it, just like that. Okay, then we're going to take this flower and put it on first. 
then our hand painted 14 millimeter, then our bead cap, oops, just like that, then this little um, flatter bead cap, and these are the little leaf bead caps that I've got a ton of these. I know everybody else has them too because Bargain Bead Box sent them out a lot of times, and and then our bicone. Okay, we are going to make another loop here. I may have cut that a little long. Let me go back just a little. Okay. Roll this loop back. Make sure it's closed up really good. And put our ear wire on. And check it out. Aren't they beautiful? I just really, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, make y'all seasick. I really like these. I think they turn out so pretty. Look at those. Quick and easy. We've done three pair. All right, here's our next pair. Now this one right here is using the hand-painted calla lilies. And there are some of these up on the site right now. Okay, so if you want to make this one, you need a calla lily. You need this bead cap again, they're on the website. You'll need a dangle of some sort, a charm. You'll need an eye pin. You'll need an ear wire. A couple of other bead caps, I've got three here. An eight millimeter bicone and some seed beads, okay? So this one's super easy as well. What we're going to do is we're going to fill part of our eye pin with the seed beads in here. Okay. And we're going to do this. Let's go ahead and put our dangle on. And this just keeps the um, eye pin hanging low enough that our dangle can be seen. It keeps the calla lily from coming down over this little flower right here. So I'm just going to thread on some seed beads. One, two, three. Four. I don't know how many I put on the first time, so we'll just put them on and then I'll measure it. I'll hold it up and see. Okay, so that's how many I've got on there. Let me put this on here and see how it does. Uh, can't tell if that's even or not. I may need a couple more. I'm going to put like one or two more just to be... I'll do this batter one. Okay, that looks pretty even to me. I'll hold it up next to that one. Okay, so then I'm going to put on this the longer bead cap. Okay, and then this one that kind of drapes down. And then I'm going to put this one on the right way. And then this one I'm going to put on upside down. And I'm going to put the bicone on, just like that, and we're going to make our loop. See how easy these are? They're so easy, and there's so much variety you can do with them. I think they're so pretty. Okay, roll this back, and let's put our ear wire on. And I'm using fish hooks on all of these, I, I think except for one. Is there one I did a ball post? Yeah, there's one that we do a ball post, but um, I just did that for convenience just because I had a lot of fish hooks. You can use any ear wire that you want. So there it is. Aren't they beautiful? They just turn out so pretty. Look at that. These look like stained glass, I think. So that is our fourth pair. So we've done four pair of earrings in 19 minutes. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right. So next, we are going to do this one. Now this one has a little petal hanging on the side. And if you can see under here, look how cute that is. And this is the bellflower, I think is what this is called. I've got these in several colors on the website. So if you're interested in making this one, you're going to need the bellflower. 
You're going to need the flat flower again, just like we used in this one. Okay, this is a big flat bead cap. I don't have any of those on the site, but you can use that. You do need some kind of a big, you could even use a piece of filigree if you had it. But just see how it does on the bottom of that earring. That's where it goes. Scoot this up so y'all can see it. Okay, the little leaf petal. Okay, then we're using this bead cap again. We're using a petal. We're using these little teeny mini um, bell flower check glass flowers, and I have these up on the website in this um, light pink. There's a blue. There's several different colors of them. We need a couple of jump rings, a spacer bead, a four millimeter bicone, an ear wire, a head pin, and that right there is just another little tiny um, bead cap that I put down here that you can't even really see. <laughs> so if you don't have one of those, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to show anyway. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, let me see how I did this. It's been this morning when I did these. So we're going to put our bicone on first and then our little bell flower, just like that. Then I put that little bead cap on that doesn't show. <laughs> Then we're doing a spacer bead, and the reason for the spacer is just to make this pink flower sit up enough to where it doesn't totally cover up the little things below it, okay? Then we're going to put this bigger bead cap on like this. Then our cone flower. And you need a fairly long head pin for this, okay? Then our long bead cap. And we're going to make our loop. Like this. These cutters are horrible. I used these to cut memory wire and now they're really bad. Okay. And we'll go ahead and roll this, whoops, roll this loop back. Okay, just like that. Make sure it's closed. Wanting to spin on me. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll take our ear wire, go ahead and put it on. Okay, now we're going to take the speed cap. We're going to go ahead and open up the small jump ring. This is a six millimeter jump ring, maybe. Yeah, I'd say it's a six millimeter. Close it back up. I really need to put my glasses on. I cannot see what I'm doing hardly. Isn't it something when you turn about 40, <laughs> your eyes just, you wake up one morning and they no longer work right. <laughs> it's like I've always had bad eyes since I was a child. I mean, I've always worn glasses and had a pretty hefty prescription, but I could always read pretty well up close, and yeah, not anymore. I turned 40, and it was like the day after. My eyes just didn't work anymore, so it's pretty frustrating. I go to the Dollar Tree, and I buy their reading glasses, and I literally have them all over my house. Like, there's two or three pair laying in every room, because <laughs> I can't see without them. Okay, so there we have it. We hung it right on there, or a little petal. You can hang it the other way if you'd rather. You could even glue a little crystal in there and be pretty. But there it is. So that is our fifth pair, and aren't they pretty? Look at that. They're beautiful. All right, so pair number six. Okay, this is pair number six. I really like these. Now, I can't hang these on the thing because these are on ball posts. But look at this. Isn't that cute? Look at those little flowers on the bottom. Oh, I love this. So let's make this one. To do this one, you need the cone flower again, and this is it in pink. You're going to need three of these, or four of these little tiny uh, flatter flowers. These are up on the site, and there's also blue ones and purple ones and aqua ones. They're really pretty. We're using this um, long bead cap again. We're using the ball post ear wire. 
a pink pearl, it's a four millimeter, and you need three of these little, I'd say these are six millimeter, little tiny um, bead caps, and then I have one of these leaf ones. You could also use the leaf ones for these, it would work just as well, but I just didn't. And then you're going to need three eye pins, or three head pins and an eye pin, okay? So this is super easy. What we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna make our dangles first. So we're gonna take the flower, put it on, and the little bead cap, just like this. And I, you can make these different sizes if you want. I did, I made the light pink one longer. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing on this one. These don't have to match perfectly in my opinion. I don't. I mean, I think they're kind of cute if they're just a little whimsical and maybe don't match exactly, but if you want them to, you can definitely make them match. Um, if you have a pair of nylon jaw pliers, which I do, but I can't seem to find, I don't know where they are, um, you can straighten out your eye or your head pins ahead of time, but I'm just going to, there we go, try to straighten them out a little bit. <laughs> they are crooked. Let me see. I had a thing here somewhere. Yeah. This is like a wire straightener thingy. I don't know if it'll work for this or not. It's supposed to straighten wire. Mm, no, <laughs> it did not. <laughs> um, I don't even know how this thing works. But yeah, it did not straighten my head pin. I need my nylon doll pliers and I have no idea where they are. I've lost them, but I'll just straighten it up like this. I don't know, this thing is supposed to straighten wire, but it didn't work on this, not one bit. Okay. So, since I can't find my nylon dry pliers, I'll just have to use my fingers. There we go. That's pretty good. All right. I'm going to put the yellow one on here and the little cap. Just like this. <laughs> that head pin was really crooked. Okay. Um, let's see. Where does the yellow one hang? It's kind of the shortest one, so... I'll do it about like this. Guys, I wanted to tell you I got the Coriana chain in today. I was so excited. I've been waiting since April 4th for this Coriana <laughs> chain to come. So it is going to be restocked back on the website like tonight. I'm so excited to get it back up there. Everybody's been asking about it. And I have not had any, I've been like, I can't even, when I tracked it, it didn't even tell me where it was. It just said it was like, last I looked, which was a couple days ago, it said it was still in China. So, but it got here. I don't know. But anyway, it's stocked back on the website, rose gold, gold, and platinum. Thank God. Because <laughs> it was taking forever to get here and everybody was like, where is the Coriana chain? And I'm like, I don't know. It's literally on the slow boat from China. <laughs> literally. Um, but it made it today and we were gone. We were not here and the FedEx guy came and he rang. We have a ring doorbell and he rang it and usually they just leave something on the porch. I don't know why he, I don't, I don't guess I was supposed to sign for it, but I was like, I'm answering cause I didn't want him to not leave it cause I've been waiting so long for it. So I was like, Hey, we're not home. Just leave it. And he did. <laughs> Thank goodness. I've waited forever for that stuff to come. Okay, so here we go. And, well, that might be a little, those might be a little too off. I think I need to add, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a little jump ring to that one because I cut it too short. Well, I was talking, <laughs> not paying attention to what I was doing. I don't want it to look, you know, totally different. They can look a little different. That's not a big deal, but that one looked a lot different. So I'm just going to add a jump ring to it, to this last one. So it's not quite as short. I don't want it to be, to look too different from the other one. And this is a tiny jump ring, so it will just lengthen it probably just enough to where it should be. Yep. All right, so we'll put the light pink one back on there. Get on there. Of course, I can't do it one-handed. Okay, and our yellow one. 
And then I'm just going to hang that one from the jump ring. Yeah, that helps it. That makes it to where it's pretty well, pretty similar to the other one. Okay. So then we are going to put our cone flower on, just like this. We are going to put our bead cap on, this big one, just like this. And then our small one, upside down, and then our flower upside down, and then our pearl. Okay, just like that. And then just make a loop. Let me, yeah. I was trying to see if I'd attach that with a jump ring, but I didn't. Okay. I'm going to roll this loop back. And to put it on this ball head pin, you have to open this up. it right on there and close it up and here you have it <laughs> I really like these I think these turn out so cute so there they are a really really cute another pair that you can do with lucite flowers all right so that is pair number six we've got two more so here's number seven. This one's really different, and I love I love the way these turn out. Okay, see this? How it is on the top? Isn't it pretty? It's just beautiful. So this one's super easy to make. And if you want to make this one, you're going to need one of these wide, leafy flowers. I don't think those are up on the website yet, but I will get them up there. You're going to need whoops, a couple of bead caps like this to sort of similar sizes. This is a 12 millimeter bicone, a 12 millimeter glass faceted bead, a smaller bead cap, a tiny four millimeter pearl, a head pin, and an ear wire. Okay, this one's super easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is put the little four millimeter pearl on the head pin. Okay, then we're gonna use this bead cap upside down then the bicone, then this bead cap upside down, then the flower, then our bead, then our other bead cap. And that is it. This is so easy. And you take your pliers, 90 degree angle, cut it off. And roll your loop back. What do y'all think? Is that not the easiest earring you've ever made in your life? It took all of like 30 seconds. Okay, and then we will just put our fish hook on. And there you have it. I love these. They're so pretty. And you can straighten it up if your uh, eye head pin's a little crooked. There it is. I think these are just gorgeous. Let me hang them on the thing so you can see them. Whoops. Yeah, so, so pretty. And how long did that take? Like, literally no time at all. So that is number seven. We've got one more pair to go. And these are made using petals, little petals. And I do have these petals as well on the website. And that one's white. I don't know if you can see it, but there's three of them there. So if you want to make these, you're going to need a fish hook ear wire or any ear wire, three petals, a chain, and some jump rings, which I neglected to get out apparently. Oh, like I said, I thought I was organized. I thought I had it all together this morning. I was so proud of myself. <laughs> yeah. Let me grab a couple jump rings. There's one. I think these are like six millimeter jump rings. They're not huge, but they're not teeny tiny either. Two, yeah, three. Okay. So if you want to make this earring, it's super easy. You just open this up and hang your chain on. Okay. 
And then all we're going to do, literally, is hang these little petals on with the jump rings. I'm sorry, I'm off the camera again. So we'll do the pink one first. If I can get it on there, there we go. Okay, and I've hung it from this part up here. And I, you do, one thing you wanna do, try to make sure of is that you get them hanging the right way. They will flip around, but you want them hanging the right way. All of them the same, so they don't, you know, I don't know, I guess you could do them however you wanted. You could have them flip in different ways if you want to do, but I just did mine all the same way. So there's the first one. Then we'll do the yellow one. These are so cute. And let's see, I have hung the yellow one on the second chain down, so this one right here. Yep, just like that. Okay, there's two of them. And we will do the white one. And let me see which chain I hung the white one on. Looks like I went two below the yellow. So, yellow is right there. I skip two and we'll do white. It's a little fiddly. Not too bad. Yellow, skip two. Did I do the white one on the second one below the yellow one? Yellow, yeah, okay. So the yellow one's there, skip to right here's the white one. And then I cut the chain because I, I had too many links on when I was finished, so I just took the cutters and cut the excess chain right here. poor cutters. And there it is. A little petal, a little set of petal earrings. And like I said, these will flip around a little bit. You know, it doesn't really matter, but there they are. Aren't they pretty? So cute. So that is eight pair of Lucite flower earrings um, in different ways that you can make them using all these beautiful Lucite flowers. And like I said, I have these all up on the website. Um, I will have more of the hand-painted ones. I don't have a ton of those left because I had a bunch and they sold really quickly. So I will have more um, eventually. I've got some that I'm going to take downstairs and try to paint tonight. I'm going to try to paint some of these pink ones and see how they turn out. Um, the ones I was doing before were just white like this. But... Um, I think I'll try to paint the pink ones and just see how they turn out. I think they might be pretty with some um, pinks and yellows on them. And we'll just have to see. But yeah, um, the rest of them are up there on the site. And like I said, there will be more of the hand-painted ones eventually. But I'm waiting on some things to come in the mail. <laughs> so there they are, all our little Lucite flower earrings. And um, I think they're a lot of fun to make and there's so much variety. There's so much you can do with them. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it, give it a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!